If you're like me, you're always on the lookout for inspiration, whether it's for decoration, fashion, or life in general. Summer is coming and I decided to give my room a pop of color while still keeping it minimal. These are the ideas that I came up with with all the inspiration around me and I hope that they can inspire you as well. Just like in my previous video, I'll be showing you how to make all of the DIYs and then show you the final results at the end of the video. So let's get started! For the first DIY, I'm going to be using my old microwave glass tray and these three nail polishes to make a marble tray. I poured a bit of the nail polishes into a bowl full of water. Make sure you have enough water to cover the old tray. This is the pattern I got. I'm sure yours will be different, which is what makes the marble effect so interesting and unique. Next, I'm going to personalize my old clock that as you can see took a turn to the worst in a failed DIY project. I removed its hands and applied glue in a swirling motion to the clock. I pressed my print against the middle part of the clock to create a hole and pressed down the edges. There was some excess paper so I cut it off with a scissor. Next, I glued the sides of the paper to the frame and put back the ends of the clock. Using stick glue, I'm going to give the paper some shine. Baby, are you gone now? For the third DIY, I'm going to be giving my mouse pad a new look. I saw a really cool mouse pad with this pattern, so I decided to DIY mine. This is fairly easy to do, don't worry if you can though. I glue the paper to my mouse pad and cut off the excess paper with a scissor. Next, I'm going to be using the marble effect on my mom's old cutting board. I believe that by now we're all aware of how the process goes. I used the same colors as before, then I created a line with the spray paint. I ran out of silver paint so I had to use my pink one. Now that all of the DIYs are done, I'm going to show you how all of the DIYs turned out so that maybe you can compare it with yours and send me pictures. Well, that is all for this video guys, I really hope you like it, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to. As for me, I'll see you on my next video. Bye!